episodes are telling singular stories that stand on their own, that are also building up mysteries for the future of Destiny. For the episodes, we introduced this single object of immense power. And Echo is a direct result of the battle with the Witness. All of the darkness that was holding it together exploded out, colliding with the matter-making properties of light, manifesting all of these different memories inside of the Witness. This collision of darkness and light created this explosion, and so these echoes spread across the galaxy. The first echo that we encounter landed on Nessus. What they find there is that this echo has transformed the planet, awoken it into something it's really not supposed to be. So we go down to Nessus and we immediately realize that the Vex are acting a little strange. So we work with Failsafe and the first activity, Breach Executable. And this is a three-player activity, arena style, kind of offensive that we haven't really done before. Got these big cool like geysers of radiolaria that explode out of the ground and you need to cap them off while you're keeping the enemies at bay. Things that have only existed in the Vex net are now coming out into the real world. You're gonna see that like Nessus is different now. As we get deeper and deeper towards the core, it really starts to become very apparent. So you're gonna go down into these landmarks and you're gonna unearth the ancient secrets of a lost civilization. We have a mysterious new enemy, and they are able to do things that we have not encountered in an enemy before. We're seeing new behavior from the Vex. Who is behind this? But also, what are they doing, and to what end? Revenant is going to be very fallen theme. The Fallen uh, don't have a home planet anymore. Reese has been gone for a long time and they've been looking for a new home across the galaxy. Revenant has more dark fantasy themes. It's about slaying vampires with a touch of splicer mixed in. The player gets to be a Slayer Baron. We'll learn that in Elixni culture, this was a role that was reserved for the most renowned monster hunters. For that one, we took a really hard lean into the vampire hunter fantasy. We're introducing the system called potion crafting. Combat potions boost your artifact directly, then your loot potions, those are going to allow you to have agency over the rewards that you're chasing. What we'd like to do in year 10 is give players more agency in their pursuits. You'll see more experiences where you can kind of decide what you want to do in this next step. Fickrule is back, and he's got the echo. And this is what Fickrell's using to build his new Army of Darkness. And he's moved into a, an Awoken Watchtower. Fickrell's Vampire Keep. We took a lot of inspiration from horror for that one. Heresy is about the Hive Pantheon dealing with some new interesting revelations that happen. We want to take the Hive Pantheon and shake up the snow globe. It means that we want to take the existing relationships that we see inside of it and put them through such a stress test that they come out changed. In Heresy, there's this new eldritch force that's bubbling up to the surface that is opening new doors, creating powerful mysteries, and ultimately they lead us back to the Dreadnought. We're going back to the Dreadnought. <laughs> it's awesome. Some fans might think we've forgotten about the Dreadnought completely, but we're gonna give it a whole new purpose. We want this to be an eldritch, inscrutable fortress of secrets. The peeling that you'll see on the Dreadnought, the weapons themselves are peeling back to reveal a new spooky, bony front. Since this release deals with kind of two big themes, we have two armor sets. We've had some armor sets that are kind of in the Eris theme in the past, but this is like straight up Amaris's squad. And then the Hive Ship Navigator armor set explores like, what if we were driving the ship? What if we were the navigators? If you really like Shattered Realm, if you really liked the coil, you're going to love this new Dreadnought activity. With every episode, there are a ton of interesting twists and turns that I don't think anybody's really going to suspect. We haven't seen anything like this in Destiny before, and I'm excited to get after it.